don't think that's possible. Well, not really, because I think like well, everyone's their own person, aren't they? So everyone's got their own minds and loves who they want. So I don't think so. We're all put on this earth. I don't think God's got that kind of a judgment. It's it's that simple. Um, personally. Being, me being a Christian, I feel like we, it's the word frown, we frown upon it, as in me personally, I don't, I, if I see a gay person, I'll be like, yeah, I can be friends with them, there's nothing, there's nothing different about us except for, just, except for our sexuality. Why not? Why? You're born like that. You can't help what you love at the end of the day. If, if, if a woman doesn't like a man and she loves a female, then she can't go to a camp and change because God's not happy with it. Do you know what I mean? You're born how you are. So you think that God is okay with it? Yeah. See, I'm a Muslim here, yeah, so I don't know either. I believe probably he would, but every religious got their own views on gays. Even some people don't even like, even Christianity these days don't like gays as well. So I must say, for Muslims, yeah, probably yes, he would be mad at gays, but I don't know about different religions. And the thing is, I can be friends with them, I can do all that things with them, but what I don't, the one thing I say is don't talk about your sexuality around me. Cause that's just where it gets uncomfortable and I feel like because God um, doesn't judge people like God wants us to be perfect and we're supposed to be perfect in his image and like it says in the Bible that almost called that a man should be it should be a man and a woman not a man and a man first of all I don't believe in God so it's a bad question but so I think I if God existed or if I believe God exists um, I think he wouldn't hate gays now no because there's no point in understanding yeah well it's changing society today, so people like kind of adapt to religion. So yeah, but me personally, I'm against it. So yeah. So that's why it was Adam and Eve. Like he created him a partner for him to not feel lonely. He could have created him a man, but he created him a woman. And I think that that was very profound. And obviously, they say this thing about you—you you don't get to choose to be gay. That's one thing I don't believe in. I think it is a choice, and a choice can always be changed. I just don't feel like it should be forced upon. I think that they should just find it in themselves. But in terms of God hating them, I don't think so. It's one of more. It's more of a thing where God will watch them turn it around. Because I feel like everyone eventually will see the light. I guess. Well, I'm not really sure because I'm not the one to judge. At the end of the day, maybe one day he might show up spiritually. I don't know. I don't know whether I do believe or I don't believe, but there are certain things that you can't explain, so... Because people now these days, like, people are born, maybe born gay, maybe people are brought up in religious aspects, because um, you do tend to have people that are brought up in religious aspects, such as Christians, new born Christians, that being gay is not the way for them, because, like, the way how the Bible explains it, it's like, it only a man and a woman can create a child, not two men. Like, based on my opinion, this is how I was brought up because I'm a Christian myself, and that's how I've been brought up, to, to be honest with you. But whether he would dislike or like, maybe that's my preference, I don't have a problem, so I wouldn't see why he would, I say he or the, the greater being, would, would have a problem. Um, everyone's different. Why is it that we just assume that a male and a female have to be together? It's just our assumption because for years, alright, we do mate. To breed more but it doesn't necessarily mean that that was how he was meant to be it's just but no i don't think there'd be any problem to that everyone's different if we all like the same thing then we'd have a problem <laughs> that's a good one trick one well for for a start i believe in god no i don't think he hates gay people he hates what they do and how they view stuff because it's like it's like imagine you made something and you thought it was completely like, beautiful like you made it to be like woman man like that kind of thing and like like you thought that's the way i want to procreate that's how the earth is going to carry on so i made it like that and it's beautiful and do i think god hates gay people no i don't think so because god doesn't hate anybody and then like they were like oh no I don't think so, that's, it's not, and I'm just going to go against it kind of thing. Like I think if that was the case, that's why God doesn't like it, it says in the Bible that he doesn't, it's sinful, but he doesn't say that those people is like what he hates, he hates what they do, so yeah, he doesn't hate gay people. In my opinion, I mean God is, for me, uh, you know, God does exist, but I mean he's not like out there trying to judge anybody. As a matter of fact, I mean, I think God knows that, you know, we're not a perfect human being. Eh? So, I mean, if gay is not being perfect, it's not any reason for God to really, you know what I mean? Again, I mean, we are just people. 
I don't think you know uh, God is looking at uh, you know what we get up to in that regard. And of course, if we are sinners, I mean, we are told that you can get you know a remittance for our sins. Well, in my opinion, as a Christian, maybe God does have a problem with homosexual acts. Maybe he doesn't. I guess we'll find out when we meet him or her. But in the meantime, I think I'll listen to the one that he sent, Jesus. After all, he did die for all of our sins. When Jesus famously sat on the mountain and spoke to the crowds of people, he made it simple. Don't judge others or you too will be judged. Don't worry yourself trying to get a speck of wood out of your neighbor's eye when you've got a big old plank in your own. So does God hate gays? I guess we'll let Jesus answer that. Until next time.